Installation of Roxtec Complus 6x2. To install the Roxtec Complus 6x2, you need three frame parts with clips, sealing modules, the assembly gel, a compression unit, and the stay plates. Remove the protective paper from the tape gaskets on the frame parts. Assemble the frame by fitting the frame pieces together and securing with the clips. Larger combination frames can be built by simply adding one or several extra frame midsections. Fit the frame into a wall or partition and attach it with screws or rivets. The smooth front of the frame keeps the integrity of the construction during stock time and transport. It also serves as spare capacity for future needs. To begin installation, Knock out the protective cover with any tool. Lubricate the inside of the frame. Be sure to lubricate the corners. Feed the cables through the frame opening. Adapt the modules to the right cable diameter by removing layers from each half. Peel off each layer until the module fits perfectly. It is important that there is a 0.1 to 1 mm gap between the module halves when fitting the cable. Lubricate all the modules thoroughly on both the inside and the outside faces. Insert the modules, starting with the largest modules first. Place a stay plate on top of every finished row of modules and continue to fill the packing space with cables, modules and stay plates. Before installing the final row of modules, it is necessary to insert the two remaining stay plates. The stay plate clip provides convenient help during installation. Attach the clip below the top stay plate and it will be kept out of the way during installation. Install the final row of modules between the stay plates. Roxtec Pre-Compression Wedge. This tool is very handy when you need to make room for the sealing wedge during assembly. It fits easily into the frame and expands to almost twice its original size when the bolt is tightened. Finish the installation with the Roxtec wedge. Make sure the bolts are loose and be sure that the marked side of the wedge is facing the stay plate. Lubricate and insert the wedge. Tighten the bolts alternately until stop or to a maximum torque of 20 newton meters. The wedge will compress and seal the transit and the excess assembly gel will be squeezed out. The Roxtec wedge clip is included in the wedge kit. 
Install the wedge according to the assembly instructions. The clip can only be attached when the screws of the wedge are tightened to full stop. The purpose of the clip is to verify that the wedge is properly installed and tightened. Reinstalling the system. It is easy to add a new cable. Turn the two bolts counterclockwise until stop, and then remove the wedge. Lift the upper stay plate and take out a spare module and feed the new cable through the frame. Adapt the module to the right cable diameter and make sure that there is a 0.1 to 1 mm gap. Lubricate thoroughly and then reinstall the module. Lubricate the Rockstech wedge and insert it into the frame. Tighten the bolts alternately until stop or to a maximum torque of 20 newton meters. The wedge will compress and seal the transit and the excess assembly gel will be squeezed out. The Rockstech wedge clip is included in the wedge kit. Install the wedge according to the assembly instructions. The clip can only be attached when the screws of the wedge are tightened to full stop. The purpose of the clip is to verify that the wedge is properly installed and tightened. Expanding the system. The Rockstech Complus frame offers a unique possibility to include spare capacity in the sealing system. To utilize that spare capacity, knock out the protective cover with any tool. Fill the frame with cables and lubricated modules as previously shown. Secure the installation with a Rockstech wedge. To order supplementary module kits, please find your nearest Rockstech representative at www.rockstech.com.